Guess we can do this.
Damn, it's not over yet. That's my line. I've been looking all over for you. That one was mine too. Huh. That was about to get ugly. All right. Whoa, hold on. What are you doing? Yuri, I'm happy to see you're finally seeing the world outside the barrier. So, be a little more happy then. Stop pointing that thing at me. Well, I got a little less happy when I saw this. Hey, it's up to 10,000 gold. Nice. I didn't think when you quit the knights that you'd take up a life of crime. A lot of things have happened, Flynn. It's not that simple. Simple or not, a crime is a crime. Good to see you're as stubborn as always. I... Uh-oh. Yuri, I heard something happened. Are you all... Perfect timing. Flynn! Huh? Oh, Flynn, are you all right? Have you been hurt? Uh, I'm fine. Um, Lady Estelise. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just so happy to see you. I... Please, this way. What? Uh, but Flynn, there's something I need to tell you. I'd better go find Carol and Rita. just dragged Estelle right by us. Are they both inside the inn? Yep. So that other guy was Flynn then. Yeah, well... You might not be able to get a word in edgewise if you went in now. Seemed like they might be in there a while. Want to burn time walking around town a bit? Sure, okay.
What the hell is a brat like you doing trying to get in here? Aw, don't throw a hissy fit. Have a bite of this and calm down. Get that out of my face. This isn't the kind of place for kids. Oh. Mmm. That sure is a rough way to treat a child. Who the hell are you? That brat's daddy or something? Seriously, do I look like the parent of a kid this big? Time to try again. Oops! Hey, hey! You really think it's okay to point a weapon at an unarmed child? I'm just teaching the brat a lesson about the consequences of breaking adult rules. Just cut it out, okay? What? What are you doing? <coughs> now you've gone and done it. Hold up, you, you've come this far and now you're just gonna run away? You need to be prepared if you're going to grab a beautiful young lass's hand. Prepared? Prepared for what? Sorry, now ain't the time. Uh, what? You brat! Get back here! Damn it. The hell was up with that kid? Hey, buddy. You better get lost, too. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I guess Flynn and Estelle should be done talking by now.
I guess the Empire likes to throw its weight around no matter where you go. Before I left the capital, I didn't know or care about anything besides the lower quarter. It's not everywhere, but I feel like the Empire's influence is especially strong on Elikia. They can do whatever they want since there aren't any major guilds on Elikia. We can't just let it stay this way. All finished? And are we done whispering secrets? I've heard your story up until this point, Yuri. And also the reason for the bounty on your head. First off, I owe you my thanks for protecting her. Oh, I've been meaning to express my gratitude as well, Yuri. It's nothing. I was already out searching for that Blastia thief. And that's where we have a problem. Hmm? Regardless of the circumstances, the Imperial law cannot allow the obstruction of officers, jailbreaking, and trespassing. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I told him everything. Don't be sorry. I mean, I did all that stuff. Then I assume you are prepared to receive the punishment your actions deserve. Flynn! Do whatever you like, but just listen a minute, will you? So you can tell me how it was all done in order to get back the lower quarters Blastia Corps? That's what you wanted to say, right? Sir Flynn, I have news! What is Rita doing here? I heard you refused an Imperial request for assistance! Do you think it's alright for a mage employed by the Empire to simply abandon her obligations? Who's that? Got me. Huh, whatever. It's not like I care a whit about you, either. I'll make the introductions. This is my second-in-command, Sodia. This is Witcher, a mage who offered his assistance to us at the laboratory in Ospio. This is my- You! Sir, it's the criminal from the Wanted poster! At ease, Sodia. He is a friend of mine. What? But sir, he's a wanted man! I've just heard his story. While he is guilty of minor crimes, the warrant for his arrest contains false accusations. Later, I will return him to the capital and explain the situation. And he will receive his due punishment. My... my mistake, sir. Witcher, let's have your report. So we're done here, right? I believe the ongoing rain and wind are being caused by a Blastia. The weather in this season is unpredictable, but this does not explain why it worsens whenever boats leave port. We also have testimony that something like a Blastia was carried into Magistrate Rago's residence. I've never heard anything about a Blastia that controlled the weather. Nothing like that has ever been excavated. Wait. The Aqueblastia, the ruins... It couldn't be. So his lordship, the Magistrate, is using a Blastia to control the weather. It appears that way, though we can't yet say for certain. The harbor has been closed due to weather. Any ship that leaves is fired on for disobeying the ordinance. So much for crossing over to Torum. Those aren't the only rumors surrounding the Magistrate. He's released a monster known as Ribgaro into the wild, and amuses himself by forcing those who can't pay their taxes to hunt it. He claims he'll pardon their taxes if they can manage to capture the beast. How cruel! 
That injured couple we met near the entrance must be two of his victims. And their child. What? What happened to their child? Forget about it. Well, it's been a hell of a day for us and we're tired. Let's just stay at this inn for the night. Also, we can't forget about a certain missing person. Missing person? So, what's the plan? I'm gonna go see Magistrate Rago. What? We'll get turned away at the gate if we try to go there. Even a noble woman like you would have no chance of getting in. Yeah, but with the harbor barricaded, we can't cross over to Torum Harbor. And that thief Tadeki, along with that one-eyed giant, are both on the other side of the water. Let's stop blabbing about it and just go, why don't we? If you won't listen to what we have to say, we can think of another plan. All right. Let's head to Rago's palace then. No matter how you slice it, Flynn is Flynn. He's even more stubborn than before. <laughs> you think so too, Repeat? <laughs> well, at least he seemed to be doing all right. What do you want? I'd like to meet with Magistrate Rago if you'd be so kind. Yuri! These men are mercenaries. I wonder what guild they're from. I guess that explains the thuggish look. <laughs> Go home, Scram! The Magistrate is a busy man. Surely not too busy to rough up the people in this town. Hey! You better watch your mouth, punk! See? I told you he wouldn't see us. Let's get out of here before things get sticky. I'd have to agree with Captain Carroll on this one. But there must be some other way. Forget it. Let's go. We'd best leave the frontal assault on the palace to the Imperial Knights. But isn't the fact that that's going so badly precisely what's got Flynn in such a bad mood? Maybe he'd see us if we came bearing gifts, so to speak. A gift? What do you mean? The rib guru. It's worth a fair amount of money, right? Come to think of it, that official mentioned the rib guru. He said that someone with its horn would never have to worry about taxes again. 
If we brought something that valuable, the Magistrate would at least grant us an audience. You propose to catch the Rib Garo? This is our chance! It's raining, after all! What does rain have to do with it? The Rib Garo comes out of hiding when it's raining! Out of all the monsters I know, it's the only one that goes out in the rain. Capital observation, Captain Carroll. What else? What do you mean, what else? That's all there is to it. So where's the Rib Garo now? Uh... Uh... Just as I thought. Well then, let's go talk to the people in town and get their side of the story. Are you okay with this, Estelle? Yes, Yuri. If we're unlucky, this could put all of us on the wrong side of the law. The one who makes the laws in this town is his lordship, the Empire's Magistrate. You'd be okay with defying him? I'm going with you. You're okay with it then? Yes. Rita, you don't have any problems with it? I have to say, I'm incredibly interested in a Blastia that can control the weather. Then it's decided. So then, let's seek out the Ripgaro first.
never could sit still, could you? Stop treating me like a little kid. Yuri, don't do anything reckless. I haven't done anything reckless since the day I was born. I'm just chasing after a Blastia thief. Yuri. You're the one who should ease up on trying to do the impossible, Flynn. Witcher, go and see if we can get the right to search Blastia Laboratories. <sighs> I thought leaving the capital would have changed him a little. But it seems like he's even more reckless than before. Flynn? Yuri's so single-minded when it comes to protecting others. He's willing to sacrifice himself to do it. I envy him for that. But I also worry that he'll take it too far. Come on, Estelle. Let's go. Yuri's gonna leave us behind. Right. We should be going now. Oh, by the way, Lady Estelise. Yes? How... how is it, walking around outside, free? I can't say everything's been perfect, but... I realize that there are things I must do. And that makes me happy. It's been wonderful. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Hey, Rita, what did Flynn mean about search and seizure rights to Blastia Laboratories? Oh, that. Basically, if you're on an official Imperial Blastia investigation, you can go anywhere you want. Are you serious? Why bust our butts when the Knights can do that? I don't think they can. There are plenty of exceptions that can block their authority. That sounds like what I've come to expect from the Empire. This is awesome! A little test! Azure! Ready? Take this! Azure Wolf! Go so quick! Nice knee smash! Azure Wolf Strike!
protection. Wonderful. Holy power, come to me. First hit. Take this. Holy power, come to me. Let's get this over with. Yeah, I beat you into next week. This isn't over yet. We got a long way to go. Come on, let's take it back with us. It's covered in scars and bruises. I feel kind of sorry for it. I reckon it's been attacked by desperate townspeople quite a few times. It's not the people in town's fault. No, I understand. Yuri? The horn is what's so valuable, right? This'll be enough to satisfy that money grubbing magistrate. Wow. It's not like you to show pity to a monster. While you guys are busy talking, the monster's getting up. What? Why did it run away? Okay. 
It understood what we were thinking. The monster did? Seriously? Hey, we got the horn. Who cares either way? after that girl went through the trouble of healing your wounds. Where are you off to with that dangerous weapon? That's no business of yours. I can't have you sticking your nose into my affairs just because you're curious. This is... Sorry for stealing your thunder back at the inn. Maybe this will make it up to you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Uh, hold on! You're just giving it to them? It's a small price to pay if it saves their child's life. You were planning on doing this from the beginning, weren't you? Nope. It just came to me. You do realize that you just gave away our gift for the Magistrate, right? Now what do we do? No worries. We'll just find some other way to get into the Magistrate's place. Shall we see how Flynn's doing then? Yeah! Maybe he's even gotten into Rago's palace already and set things straight! Yeah, that sure would be nice. Let's go pay a visit to the inn. You're looking chipper as always, Flynn. I've got a lot on my mind, Yuri. Not that you'd know what that's like. <laughs> Managed to go out and get your bounty raised even higher? I thought you went to the Magistrate's place. I went. Along with a search warrant from the Blastia Research Lab. Ah, so you were able to go inside and look around. No. The Magistrate refused us entry. Why? He even tried to provoke us. 
If you really think I have Blastia, try to bust your way in, he said. He knows we don't have the jurisdiction to do that. He's just making a mockery of us. Well, isn't he right? What did you say? Yuri, whose side are you on? It's not a matter of whose side I'm on. If you think you're right, you should force your way inside. No, it's a trap. Rago wants the Imperial Guard to make a mistake so he can use it as an excuse to increase the authority of the Council. If we go in now, he'll hide the evidence and feign innocence. Is Magistrate Rago on the Council as well? Yes. The Imperial Knights and the Council are both essential organizations that support the Empire. But Rago seems to have forgotten this fact. So in short, we're not dealing with your everyday Magistrate here. Well, have you got a plan for what you're doing next? <sighs> what, you're out of ideas? If there were some sort of disturbance inside the palace, the Imperial Knights would be able to move in under the pretense of emergency prerogative. Ah, yes. The Imperial Knights may employ emergency prerogative to intervene in emergency situations, regardless of jurisdiction. Of course. So if a thief snuck in and caused a ruckus, that'd be enough? Yuri, I know you want to help, but... But I shouldn't do anything reckless, right? I've just received a tip that a fugitive with a warrant out for his arrest is trying to get into the Magistrate's palace. This place seems to get bigger every time I look at it. Are members of the Council really that important? The Council is a body of nobles which aids in the political administration of the Empire. Which means they basically represent the Empire's interests. Huh, you don't say. So what about getting inside? Shall we see if there's a back entrance? Tough luck. Place is surrounded by a wall, and there's no getting inside unless you can clear it. You won't last long if you go screaming in a spot like this, your ladyship. I'm sorry, but who are you? What do you mean? Me and the kid there are old friends, right, pal? What are you looking at? I barely know this guy. Now, now, don't be like that. What about the fun times we had in jail, Mr. Yuri Lowell? Huh? I don't remember telling you my name. See? You're a celebrity, Yuri. So what's your name, mister? Huh? Ah, right. I suppose Raven will do for now. For now, huh? Who the hell does this guy think he is? Well, Raven, it's been lovely seeing you again. Now buzz off. Ah, oh, come on. You're trying to get into the palace, right? You just leave it up to old Raven. Shouldn't we stop him? Actually, he pulled a trick like this that helped me get out of the castle. Really? Well, then maybe we can trust him. I'd like to hope so. Uh, they're coming over here. But, but, why? No, we 
till I get my hands on him. No one uses me as a diversion. There she goes again with the magic. Now what? Now we go inside, what else? We just got rid of the guards and all. Whoa, not the front door. Let's see if we can get in from the side. Hey, hey, so we meet again. Glad to see you're okay. Catch you later. Wait. Uh, it's going down? I don't believe this. You can't control it from down here. Ugh. Something smells rank. Blood, along with something else? It smells rotten. I wonder if he's into raising monsters, too. Could be. He had Ribgaro after all. Uh, 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 help me! Uh, what was that? What is this place? It sounds like someone's there. Let's go. Hey, you! Bring that raven creep to me right now! Huh? Why do I have to do that? You're friends with him, right? I told you I hardly know the guy. Oh, really? You met him in jail, right? That's pretty shady if you ask me. I can't really argue with that. I think he's kind of strange, but he didn't seem bad to me. I don't think he's all that good either. This enemy doesn't look so nice. Get re ready for anything. Den of this modest land. I feel power running all through my body. I'm going to make you work. Ha! <laughs> 
You want revenge? Bring it! Let's get this over with. Everything's going to be okay. Can you tell me what happened? A scary old man brought me here. He said it was because Papa and Mama couldn't pay their taxes. Do you think that this is the kid from before? How horrible. All of these bones. Could the monsters have done this? Papa, Mama, I want to go home. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's okay now. What's your name? Holly? Come on, Polly, be a big boy. No more crying. You'll see your mom and dad soon. Okay. Oh, come 
You work. Next week. Next week? But can you really? Never mind.
<laughs> I got a little worked up. Well, well, what do we have here? More delicious snacks for my pet, it seems. So you're a go. You've got some pretty disgusting hobbies. Hobbies? Oh, you must mean my basement. Only someone with my refined sensibilities could understand the pleasure I derive from such things. You're just like those senile old fools on the council. They bored me to death and never let me enjoy myself. It's the privilege of my exalted station to dispel such boredom with the help of the common people. You can't mean that's your only reason to do those things. Well, I suppose I should go and fetch Ribgoro. So many new toys, he had to put on quite a show, though you may not live long enough to see it. There's no point in searching for Ribgoro. We've already taken care of him. What did you say? Are you deaf? I said we've already taken care of him. You... what have you done to my pet? If you had put a bell on it or something, maybe you wouldn't have lost track of it. Ah, well, with a bit more money, I'll soon be able to replace him. Rago, how can you say such things and still call yourself a servant of the Empire? What? You? But that's impossible! Stay back! What do you intend to do? Someone! Arrest these intruders! We'll have enemies all over the place if we don't hurry up and finish what we came to do. Hold it. What? Don't we need to create an emergency for the Knights to respond to? It's still too soon. First, we need some evidence. We've got to find the Blastia that controls the weather. Let's work together! <laughs> <laughs> 
work. Beautiful view. Who's there? What are you doing over there? What does it look like? I'm hanging around enjoying the scenery, maybe. Oh yeah? I could have sworn you'd been captured. Um, I think she has been captured, actually. No, I haven't. Shiver me timbers. I know you. Um, 
Your name was, uh... Jack! Who's that? I'm Yuri. What's your name? Patty. Patty, huh? We met in front of the mansion, didn't we? Oh, that's right. You couldn't forget the warmth of my hand and came a-chasing after me. Hey, what were you doing here? I'm hunting for treasure. Treasure? In a place like this? Well, I guess it wouldn't be odd for that black-hearted geezer to have filched some treasures. So, what do you do, Patty? I'm an adventurer. In any case, it's dangerous for a little girl to wander around a place like this all by herself. She's right. Why don't you come with us? I still ain't found no treasure. Maybe it isn't my place to say this, but you sound less like an adventurer and more like a thief. An adventurer is one who always carries the spirit of curiosity and the desire to push into the unknown. So while I may look like a thief, I'm actually nothing of the sort. <laughs> it's not like I really care anyway. Well, if you're going to keep hunting for treasure, I won't stop you. What are you going to do? There probably ain't no treasure left in this mansion anyway. She's saying she'll come with us. Okay, then let's go. Sorry if I hurt you.
won't lose! Grateful, you know. I'm surprised you managed to wander around a mansion crawling with such dangerous guys all on your own. The treasure be worth it, even if it means putting myself in great danger. What kind of treasure is it? It's the great treasure that was hidden by Eifried. Uh, Eifried? As in... The legendary pirate, Eifried? So he's famous? You, you haven't heard of him? He's an unspeakable villain who ravaged the seas. Eifried, the boss of the pirate guild Siren's Fang. The Imperial Knights are after him for attacking an immigrant ship and slaughtering hundreds of civilians. None know his whereabouts, but many say he's already died. It's known as the Black Hope Massacre. I've heard that it was an utter nightmare. Well, that's what they say. Hmm? What's the matter? Nothing. What do you want all that treasure for, anyway? What do I want it for? Shouldn't that be obvious? I'm going to find that legendary treasure and become a famous adventurer. Even if it means putting yourself in great danger? That's the life of an adventurer. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Fun, eh? Then how about it, matey? Wanna join up with me? It sounds right up my alley, but I'll pass on that. I don't really have time to spare. You're a cold one, Yuri. Even colder than a shark skin. Uh, shark skin? But I like that about ye. Uh, you do? Wait. Does that mean Patty and Yuri are... Aye, it's love at first sight. Um, yeah, I don't think that's such a good idea. Love at first sight. Ugh, whatever. Can we just hurry up and get out of here? Blastia we're looking for? Strim. 
Latos, Rakra, Fleck. They just patch together Blastia with different formulas. This formula could manipulate the weather, but how could they use them like this? It's just like at Emid Hill. They don't have the slightest respect for what they're working with. This is just what we need for evidence. Rita, shouldn't you finish that later? <laughs> just a bit more. I just need to check a few more things. You can have Flynn give you a look at it after we're done. Let's get busy with our emergency. Let's just break something that won't be missed. All right! I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna help out too! No, you're gonna stay right here. a good reason to show up, don't we? Yes, but I don't know if we should... Oh, come on! This is exactly how you put evildoers in their place! Really? What a way to behave in someone else's home. The time has come for you to earn your keep. I want all of them captured. Whatever happens, though, take care not to kill the young lady. No way! Are these guys from the Blood Alliance? And here's another one for you! That's enough, we're getting out of here. What are you talking about? I'm not finished yet! If we don't leave now, we'll run into Flynn. And I'd rather not deal with that. You don't seriously think he'll come that quickly? Magistrate, I don't know what's happened here, but allow us to offer our assistance. Flynn! There, see? <laughs> He's certainly enthusiastic. Is that the Dragon Rider? You! What the hell do you think you're doing? How dare you destroy those Blastia! There really is a person riding a monster. Wait! Think you're going? Ugh, what the hell? Who runs a monster like that? That was the Dragon Rider. Dragon Rider? More like Dragon Freak, hurting my Blastia like that. Dragon Freak? You know, Rita, that Blastia wasn't even yours. Anyway, why do you think someone would go around destroying Blastia? That's a good question. I'd like to sit down and pick that Dragon Rider's brain sometime. As if you could have a normal conversation with someone like that. This is where we have to part ways. You're gonna go get that bad Rago person, aren't you? Yeah, we wanna hurry. It's okay. I can go home by myself. There's a good boy. You shouldn't go running into danger anymore either, okay? Got it. I don't 
don't think she actually got it. Estelle, what's the matter? I still can't believe the Magistrate could do such terrible things. Sadly, it's pretty common. Haven't you already seen what the Empire's capable of several times on this trip already? While you guys are having a nice little chat, Rago's escaping in his ship! I never thought we would meet the Dragon Rider in Rago's palace! That was a dragon? I'd never seen a monster like that before. Yes, it had a very different feeling to it than any monster I'd ever seen. I wonder where it flew away to after that. I'll bet it has a hideout somewhere, but we don't have enough information to find it. Enough! Enough with that dragon freak! Just thinking about that jerk makes me furious! 